That is what the Aurora forecast is looking like tonight. And that is really good. And ever since I saw the lights for the first time back in May, they have literally just like blown my mind and absolutely amazing. So I need to see them again because they just like make me want to like, I don't even know. I just get so happy. So we're going to drive four hours tonight and try to catch them. Ready to go. I keep all my camping stuff in these two boxes so that anytime I just want to up and leave, I can just throw the two boxes in. Hit the road. Hey, on a Tim's run, let me know what you want. I can pick it all up. Oh, heck yeah, bud. <sighs> Pumpkin spice latte. It's that time of year again. I feel like the most basic white girl every time I get one of these, but like, I've been doing this whole pumpkin thing longer than it was famous. And you real ones on the channel know that. What are we making? Pumpkin pie out of an actual pumpkin. So thought this would be just a cool idea. Anyways, three and a half hours to go. Clearly you can't go anywhere in Michigan without a detour of some sort of construction, no matter where you go. Continue making the rest of the drive there, and yes, of course, I ran into more construction because why wouldn't you in Michigan? Anyways, we finally arrived at camp. Made it to the campsite, and I thought it would just be fun to like sleep in Walmart's cheapest tent, so she's looking beautiful. Not really, but anyways, we're gonna try to catch a salmon before we see the lights. But if we actually check the Aurora forecast right now, let's go give it a look. It is a KP of seven. There's already a 1% chance to see it when it's complete daylight out. So I think it's gonna be a good night. This four hour drive hopefully will be worth it. If not, we're still gonna catch some salmon and I can, I can guarantee you that. We started walking down this very steep hill to make our way to the river. That's quite embarrassing, but I'm, I'm gonna blame it on my Crocs. Look at my Crocs. There's a straight hole in them. They're, they're wasted. I need a new pair. But they're, they're all reliable. Now that I figured out how to walk properly again, we got to the river and within seconds, Kyler hooked up. The flow just lit him. I was literally at the almost end of my journey. Oh, I'm in my backing. I'm in the weeds. <laughs> Joey, look at my line. <laughs> how far am I backing am I? Oh, not far. These fish are quite insane and fight like no other, especially with the river current. They give you a run for your money. It hasn't jumped yet. I was waiting for that. I really don't want it to. Holy. Grab that tail. Orange bead. Just a couple of what a beautiful there. looking salmon right here. And just shortly after this one, he'd already hooked up again. <laughs> you swam towards me for that jump. <laughs> Fingers. See how red they are? <laughs> He's burning my fingers right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. King of the Salomon. I'm giving this eight pound a run for its money. Oh! Gone. Dang. There she was. <laughs> As the sun continued to go down here on the river, we did not connect on any more fish the rest of the night. It's time for the famous rehydrated chili. Let's go. This is definitely much needed. There's a 7% chance right now to see the lights. It's, it just keeps on climbing, but we're gonna wait until it gets a little bit more dark around midnight and then head over to the pier and try to check it out. But right now, it's probably not the best time. At the pier. Can't currently see them, but I will sit out here as long as it takes to hopefully catch a glimpse of these things. I did not drive four hours for nothing. I might, but it, it would never for nothing. It's always a fun adventure. Okay, so the lights are out because I was taking some pictures. Here's some long exposure pictures, but it's a little bit too foggy or the, I think it's light pollution actually because it's like supposed to be clear skies right now. So I'm gonna drive more north to get away from the city that I'm currently at and then see if that can help clear up the skies a little bit for me, but they're out. I just need some more clear skies, I think. So we're gonna keep chasing them. Well, and here I am a little bit further north and I still can't see the lights, but I did just capture a shooting star. So that was pretty cool. Like I had my camera on a long shutter 
And then I just see a shooting star and I'm like, please tell me I just got that. And I did. So that's pretty cool. Nonetheless, hopefully the lights show up, which I'm not very optimistic that they're going to because the KPs just keeps on dropping, but it's literally like three days later and there was another solar flare and this time it's a G3 storm, not a G2 storm. So it's even higher chance of seeing it tonight. So I'm driving back north again. I, I'm impulsively doing it. Yes, yes, that's just who I am. And we're gonna do it and hopefully we're actually gonna catch them this time. That is the goal. I got the canoe. We're gonna be fishing a different spot, not for salmon tomorrow when that happens. So hopefully we get to see the lights. It's supposed to peak around 5 a.m. So we're gonna go up there right now tonight, camp, wake up in the morning, hopefully catch the lights and then do some fishing. So it's gonna sound like a great trip. Hopefully it happens. Made it to camp, it is dark. We're gonna set up the tent, get the, and then get, wow. Then we're gonna get to making the fire because I'm starving and we're gonna cook some salmon that I caught like a couple weeks ago. I have all the salmon, I need to cook it before it goes bad. And I wanted to smoke it, but I don't have access to my smoker anymore, so um, <laughs> I'm just gonna have to cook it. But this is a lot of salmon. I'm clearly not gonna eat it all tonight. So we're gonna freeze the rest and hopefully it doesn't go bad. I'm just gonna make fish tacos out of it. I don't think anyone ever makes fish tacos out of salmon, but we're gonna do it here today because it's a river salmon. It doesn't taste like anything anyways. Chili powder and lime juice. That's all you need, baby. You probably need more than that, but I, I'm just cooking it, okay? Don't judge me. I'm not Gordon Ramsay. I also forgot to bring oil and butter, so it's gonna stick to everything, but like, you know, it's okay. We'll work through it. Big old pile of salmon. It's also my first time ever eating salmon from a river, so we're gonna see how it tastes. I've, I have never heard good things about it, so kind of curious. Doesn't really taste like anything. So at least it doesn't taste bad. It's time to hit the hay, it's about 11 o'clock. Gotta wake up at 4 a.m. about. I think that's when it's supposed to be looking good. So let's get some rest and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully I pray that we can get a glimpse of the lights because they're so cool and I just, I wanna see them again. It's unfortunate, I've been waking up every like 30 minutes since like 3.30 in the morning and checking the Aurora forecast and the KP has never went over 3.67 and it's got a maximum of seven today and it just never happened. So unfortunately, I'm not gonna see the lights. Anyways, the KP's currently one. We're gonna go fishing now, I guess. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. This is the reality of trying to chase the Aurora. It's always, you never know. It, you just literally never know. All right, well, as we wait for the sun to rise and no lights to show up, I'm gonna share with you guys today's Bible verse for the video. And here we are on Psalm chapter 33, verse 20 through 22. And it says, our soul waits for the Lord. He is our help and our shield for our heart is glad in him because we trust in his holy name. Let your steadfast love, O Lord, be upon us even as we hope in you. Man, I just want that to be like my prayer today and I pray that for you guys today is that your soul can just wait for the Lord, that our heart can just be glad in him no matter what troubles or anything that is going on in our life, that our hearts just can be glad that we know the Savior, Jesus Christ, because that is ultimately what matters the most in our life and that we can just trust in his holy name, that he will guide and lead us in anything that we do, anything that comes our way and that his love will always be upon us and that we can just hope in his name because his name is good and Jesus is good and he never fails. And that's just something that's so powerful to just know that you know the savior of the world is just such a comforting feeling and it really just changes your life. So I just pray for all of you that know Jesus that you can just take that upon yourself and that you can just fully rest in his love. And if you don't know Jesus, I just pray that you can that you can come to know him in his love and his grace and his mercy and all that he has done for us because it is just truly the best thing that you could ever do and the best thing you could ever put your trust into and your hope into. So hope that stuck with some of you guys today. And we're about to get out here when the sun rises and go slay some largies. As always, oatmeal, nuts, berries.
and a little bit of coffee. Anyways, unfortunately, no northern lights and no fish today. So overall, just big L. We're on Lake Huron, gonna try to do some fishing here. Got like a couple hours until sunset, but the main reason I'm out here today is there's another solar flare and it's supposed to peak tomorrow night, but there's a chance that it happens tonight as well. But unfortunately, I'm not free tomorrow night, so I'm gonna have to take what I can get. Drove up here because it's a lot of dark sky, so I figured I'd do some fishing and then stay up to like three in the morning and hopefully the northern lights start dancing for me. Anyways, let's catch some fish. I have no idea what's in here actually. There could be smallmouth, walleye, pike, Atlantic Sam, I don't even know this time of year. I've never fished it this time of year. Yeah. I don't know what I'm gonna do. You got a mat? It's over there. Could you grab it for me? There we go. Oh, Ooh. Beauty. Yep. Beautiful smallmouth to start the day. I just hopped over to the other side. Didn't really expect to catch anything over there. And this guy came up and crushed it. It's a beautiful smallie too. Favorite fish of all time on Lake Huron. Doesn't really get much better than this. Um, let's continue fishing the rocks on this side, I guess. I mean, smallmouth rocks, it makes sense. Oh, there's another fish. Oh, we came off. <laughs> oh boy, if we're gonna get on a smallie bite, dude, I'm gonna be pretty happy right now. I'm not gonna lie. Now that I know there's smallies in the area, it's time to take out my secret weapon, the deadly Nedley. We're gonna catch like 25 now. <laughs> Let's go, dude. The bronzies are biting. Oh my goodness. I really didn't expect to catch much tonight. This feels like a better one, but the smallies always fight so hard, so you just never know. Yes, dude. <laughs> Buddy crushed the Ned Rig, of course. They are so beautiful. Look like super healthy fish. Straight out of the lake here on. Doesn't get much better than this. Let's go, dude. Woo! Nope, there's another one. Come here, dude. Woo! This one feels like a better one, though. I feel like I've said that in every one. But it really does. Oh my gosh, definitely a better one. <laughs> Beautiful smallie at the sunset. He's glowing orange, just like they do. Beautiful fish. He's got a scar on him, I don't know what that's from. Kinda looks like a lamprey mark, maybe. Who knows, but we're gonna get him back in the water. Beautiful fish. Oh my gosh, another one. <laughs> ah, goodness. It's lights out right now, dude. Another Ronzi. Let's go. See you later, dog. Telling you, the deadly Nedley gets her done. cooking some barbecue chicken nachos. I'm trying not to use a lot of light since I am in a dark sky preserve and there's a lot of people here. So I, I don't wanna be that guy that's like <laughs> making it not a dark sky. So filming's gonna be difficult on this part. But anyways, I'm just gonna cook this and eat it and then go head out there. And the stars are absolutely stunning. So I do wanna get some good pictures. Although the, the KP index keeps dropping, which isn't good for the Northern Lights situation, but I didn't really expect to see him tonight. I'm not gonna lie. Cause unfortunately I think it's gonna be tomorrow night when I'm not available as always. Oh, these are looking mighty fine, dude. I don't even know if you can see me right now. Anyways, this is so good. Mm. That was amazing. Well, third trip this month to see the Northern Lights ends in a failure again, but we got us some good stargazing and it was pretty cool. The dark sky preserve here is really nice and I'll definitely come back here again to try to chase the Northern Lights again if there's another flare sometime, although the flare is probably going to hit tomorrow night. I wish I could be out here tomorrow night, but I have a half marathon Sunday morning at 8am to run. 
So I'll try to see if I can see the Northern Lights tomorrow night, just locally. But there's so much light pollution, so like, I just don't have any hopes. But anyways. Well, I actually ended up seeing the lights uh, the next night when the flare hit for like literally two seconds. I could see there was like a haze of red, but really couldn't see it to the eye. But this is what the picture looked like on my phone. So it was there, but didn't really get to see it to the intensity in which I would like to see them. But don't worry, literally five days later, there's already another flare. So we're heading back north again. And we're gonna catch them this time. I got a feeling. It's about one week later, there's already another solar flare. The KP is already eight. The flare has actually come in contact with the earth already, so I'm just waiting for the sun to go down, but we're doing the same thing at the same place, at the same pier. I'm gonna try to catch some smallmouth, and hopefully when the sun goes down, the northern lights will be dancing above my head, which they should be, because the KP, like I said, is already eight out of nine, in case you guys don't know. So it's really high. There's a good chance. Probably guaranteed, but I'm not gonna say that because yeah, I know my luck with these things. Anyways, let's catch the smallmouth first. You already know I'm using the Ned Rig again. Well, the fish didn't cooperate tonight, but hopefully the Northern Lights do, and I'm trying a new recipe this evening um, for dehydrated camping foods that I will hopefully use on this next up well, that I'll hopefully use on this next upcoming trip that I have planned. But anyways, we're going to try it tonight just to make sure it works before I take it to the backcountry. While we wait for that food to rehydrate, I'm going to try some of my pumpkin bread I made earlier. Dude, that's actually insane. That's amazing. I, I love pumpkin flavored things so much. That's why fall is my favorite season. I mean, more reasons than just for pumpkin, but that is a big reason. Well, it was supposed to be chicken pot pie, but it turned out more like chicken and potato soup, which, you know, as long as it tastes good, I'm not going to be upset about it. Oh, yeah. I rock with that. I definitely do. I think I found myself another recipe on top of chili, of course. We'll have the spot here. Now we're just going to sit and wait. And as soon as it gets darker, hopefully they start to show. It's looking promising, though. I have high hopes. Starting off the night, it wasn't really visible that much to the eye, but here's what the pictures were starting to look like. And as it got later, the skies continued to get darker and around 10 p.m. it got super intense and I could see it so visibly to the eye. This was like the greatest moment of my entire life. Like literally it lit up the entire sky and it was the most beautiful thing that I've ever seen in my entire life. I was just in awe. I was standing there. I didn't even know what to like think or feel. It was just unreal. So take a look at these next few clips. And once that big burst died down, it just remained to be a lingering green in the sky. And I could see it pretty visibly to the eye, but it was still super cool. And I stayed there for a few more hours before calling it a night. It finally happened, guys. It finally happened. After four trips coming out up north to try to catch the lights, it finally happened today. And it was a show to remember. It was probably the coolest thing. Yeah, it was like the coolest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I've been saying that a lot recently, but I've been seeing a lot of cool things like Mount Rainier. We got the lights now. We got Io Royal. Like I've been doing so much cool things recently, and I just have to give all glory to God for that. And I just like, I, dude, I don't know. His creation is just blows my mind, and it continues to just drive me to come out here and just do a bunch of bunch of cool stuff, see a bunch of cool places, and just continue to adventure out into His creation. Goodness gracious, I, I can't even get over like just the pure like um joy and peace and adrenaline rush that I'm getting all at the same time from seeing this. Like it literally lit up the whole sky. I felt like I was in Alaska. Like I could see it so clearly to the eye, which was insane because every other time I've seen it, you could barely see it 
through your you could be, you could only see it through the lens and you could barely see it to the eye but like this was so vividly clear to the eye it was actually it was just, it was insane i'm losing my mind anyways i'm gonna drive three hours to go home go to sleep and i'll probably finish up this video tomorrow when i wake up and i can collect my thoughts a little bit better because i'm just on cloud nine right now dude i'm so happy right now this is this is what i've been trying to do for so long and i finally got to see it and it made it happen tonight and it's unreal but i'm so happy <laughs> still can't even like describe how i'm feeling right now like this is the next night editing this video gonna post it tomorrow october 12th and this whole thing happened on october 10th so this was like over a few months in the making this video of trying to chase and see the northern lights and it had finally happened and i wasn't really sure how i was going to edit this video but i thought it would just be best if i put all these clips together in one video so you guys can just see the full moment of me trying to chase them each and every time being a failure and this time actually succeeding and i wish i would have recorded it a little bit more during the fact but i was just taking it all in honestly i didn't even like think about like recording i was just taking pictures and looking at it and just kind of living in the moment there but it was just un it was insane it was unreal and definitely the coolest thing that i've ever got to witness in my entire life so hopefully i get the chance to witness them again but these intense flares as what we had on thursday october 10th are pretty rare so i'm not really having high hopes that i'm gonna get to see this that intense again but i really hope i do and of course I'll take you guys along with on the journey if it happens again. But if you did enjoy this one, be sure to leave that thumbs up. And as always, folks, fish with passion. Uh oh, can somebody come and save me? I just wanna know. I wanna know.